Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am back to work on our little envelope, three envelope, flippy doo -wah. I um, added this cat here, which I can see his little paw is lifting, so I obviously didn't get glue there. Um, and because it just looked a little bare, I know I could have left it because it is a good spot to write on. But I just couldn't do it. So I just added a few things, this on the side, and then I did add this here because it looked weird next to this one with nothing on it. So anyway, that's all I've done other than what I showed you guys yesterday. So I thought we could make some journaling cards, one to go in this pocket and one to go in this pocket. So that's what we're going to do. Get this out of the way. And I think we'll probably tie a string around it just because it's there's kind of a lot of things to flop open and um, it's be nice to have them more contained but it's pretty darn flat I mean it's it's flat for for having you know this and of course it'll get thicker with the journaling cards but not too bad for three envelopes all right so the first thing we need to do is back the um, cards and I might use some of my this paper this is in the regal digi just to back you know, your journaling pages if you want to, or to use in collage or on the back of tags. <laughs> so, it is pouring rain at the moment. I don't know why the weather, it, well, I mean, it's spring. I guess that's, it's pretty normal, but it can't make up its mind. It's like 87 degrees one day and like 50 and raining the next little bit wacky. So excited next Wednesday I get to go get a hair cut and color finally yay. I know I'm sorry a lot of people don't aren't even anywhere near that yet so I apologize. I'm just excited because I'm tired of looking at my gray hairs. So yeah hope you guys are having a good day. Hope your weather is sunny and beautiful. Although it is kind of nice to have a rainy day because then you're like, you don't feel bad being inside. At least that's kind of the way I look at it. I'm going to use some of the same papers from my Regal Digi in this cat journal because the papers that I'm going to use for the cat digi I'm working on are very similar. They're um, similar designs but just they're different ones. They're just not the same ones. So. so I hope Betsy likes it likes these colors and the cats and I found some other really cool cat images so sorry there were some inappropriate words on this I didn't realize it till just now but it's all covered up all right so let's work on this side Please. This piece right here. Hi. Aiden's calling you, Theron. She's trying to get on and help her um, orchestra teacher do auditions for next year she's asked to help with that so that's kind of cool she gets to do that today but she's <laughs> having technical difficulties probably so Theron, Theron being our tech guy gets to go help I have a piece of this ooh that just fits I kind of want the torn edge though, so I think I'm just going to rough it up a little bit. I don't need all of this. I 
fed. I'll probably just put the whole thing there because it's like a, just a little square that I don't need. Um, I don't want to tear any more off because it barely fits just the way it is. So. Is she having technical difficulties? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what we would do without there. And Aiden and I definitely wouldn't make it. <laughs> At least Sean is pretty tech savvy. Theron's still even better. He's just gotten so good at all that. Aiden and I are a disaster when it comes to that. Yeah. And Aiden and Theron are only two years apart, so uh, <laughs> he doesn't understand why she's not better at it. But I, I just think it's what you're into and what you like, and she's just not interested. So there's some that would be cool on there. Some uh, straw paper from Rachel at Roxy Creations. That's just a piece of tissue that was on a, a Happy Mail. Just a bag of all kinds of interesting things here. I might want one of those. See, it's just this. <laughs> it's all scraps and pieces and whatever in here. Hmm, I thought I had more. I need some music paper is what I need. So this is the box that I keep those in. And I throw other things in here to add some music. Which is probably a bad idea, but... It's just kind of the way it goes when you're buried in scraps. And all my other ones I kind of color coat. Well, I mean, I guess technically these are color coded too, because it's all the more natural colored... Um, one, sorry, I'm having trouble figuring out what I want to do next. <clears throat> this piece is really cool. It's going to go like that. So I might just go ahead and use this over here. Some very old, um music paper. So this one here. I might take off a little bit of this other one. The irises. So you can see more of that other one. I just want a piece. Quiet there, I had to think. <laughs> Definitely can't talk and think at the same time, it doesn't work. Not about <laughs> two different topics, anyway. That kind of makes no sense, <laughs> but I think you guys know what I mean. <laughs> Ooh, this side's cooler, even, but is that going to get covered? put it like top and then under this one. I don't think that'll work though. No, that won't work. We'll just leave it the way I had it. <clears throat> it's always the tricky part, right? What to cover up and what to leave out. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed lately. I welcome all of you. And um, of course, welcome back to everybody who has been with me for a while. 
or not very long, <laughs> either way. Just welcome to everybody. How's that? So I don't know if I said, yeah, I think I did yesterday. I took my son to the eye doctor. Got him some steroid drops for his eyes because the allergy drops that he was using just were not cutting it. Oh yeah, because he was mowing the lawn and everything, that's right. So you guys heard all that already. And I'm such a dingling. I um, did that video and then had dinner and stuff and was like, oh, I never uploaded my video. <laughs> so that one came out pretty late last night. That's the problem. That's why I like to do them in the morning like I'm doing now because then I'm all done and, um, you know, then I work the rest of the day and then I can just cook dinner and I'm done for the night kind of thing usually. I mean, I usually uh, work on some things while I watch TV or whatever, but it's, I'm basically done. How's that? This guy, will he fit? He's pretty big. Uh, his nose or something like it cut off. I have a big white one. And that one would fit on there. Yeah, that might look kind of cool. He or she is a very nice looking cat. With blue eyes. I like this one, but it's just a little bit, um, it needs to be taller, it's like going the wrong direction. So some of these cats will be in my new digi, just depending on how I, I'm just like getting, um, prepping some paper and stuff like that at the moment. I'm not going to do collages necessarily on this one. I mean, I will be doing some collage. You'll, you'll see when I'm done. <laughs> I know, I'm not great at explaining these things, but um, yeah. Hopefully it'll turn out the way I want it to. How it is in my head. Who knows? It's always, it's always interesting making it happen. Oh, I know. I can use a little bit of this. just feel like it needs a little something. Just like a strip of it. Nothing on it there or on this side. But I do like the music. Hmm. All the best part of the music got covered up anyway, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. Just adds a little color over there. Still feel like it needs something. <laughs> so weird how your brain does that. Um, I, I guess I can add a piece of fabric up at the top or something too. have a little bit of that gold fleck in it. That's probably going to be my best. I'm not sure about the purple though. Sorry you guys, are probably like, come on. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Okay, well, I'll worry about that in a minute. Let's just get the cat on there. The indecision's killing me.
Man, it's just coming down out there. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I have a skylight above my head. And it's coming down pretty good. It's kind of crooked, huh? Little crooked. Very pretty kitty. I think I will cut it like a tag. I don't always do that, but I think I want this one cut like a tag. And then I will stitch some kind of fabric up at the top when I figure that out, but I won't torture you with that at the moment. stitch around it too. But that will go in here. You're probably not going to see the cat really, but it's okay. And then we'll do the one that goes in this pocket. And I may just back it with this since it fits so nicely. There's my Theron sneezing. <laughs> Poor kid. Uh, he just struggles in the spring. And then he's fine the rest of the year. But, man, in the spring, he just has a heck of a time. It's all the grasses and stuff that get him. And it's not even quite as bad in the summer, usually. He may have a rough year this year. But normally... Um, kind of calms down a little bit for him. Other than when he mows the lawn, of course, that's just a given. My daughter has like eight of her friends are going to Boise State too. She's very excited because it's a lot of the same kids that are in marching band with her now are going to be in uh, Blue Thunder with her, so super exciting, and they're starting to get excited. Let's just hope that, um, you know, things work out and they're able to just go back to school and not have a big production when fall comes about the virus, because that would be a bummer. Hoping, hoping, hoping that that's over and done, or at least, you know, I mean, I don't know that it'll ever go away because they seem to struggle finding, um, like, vaccines for viruses, but at least something that will help and maybe make it not as severe for people and stuff like that. That would be great. It's weird how they're saying that, um, you know, it doesn't affect kids, and then now there's some weird like inflammatory response that they think might be linked that kids are getting. So it's just crazy the stuff, I'm telling you. The stuff they don't know, right? Okay, what should we put on this one? This would be pretty on this one. Now this one is not in my Regal Digi. This is the one one of the ones that will probably be in the the new cat one. So because I'm not going to use the exact same ones, obviously. Because what fun would that be? The 
or just tear out the whole thing because knowing my luck, I'll um, cut it too short. So what have you guys been working on? I haven't heard much lately about what everybody's got going. I mean, I, uh, some I do because like oh, uh, some ladies are doing the color challenge and so they'll either show me through YouTube or like Instagram what they've done and stuff like that so I get to see those but a lot of other people I don't I don't know what they're doing it's always kind of fun to hear what projects you got and um, some people send me images like on my Etsy shop if you go to the contacts you can send them that way too so if you want to I mean it's not like <laughs> You can just say, hey, I'm working on a dog journal or <laughs> I don't know, whatever. You don't have to send images. It's just fun. Gives me ideas. Sneezing and sneezing. My poor child. Got strings everywhere. These image, this artwork here is like early Art Deco or like the beginnings of Art Deco. It's really kind of cool. Ah. Just throw things. Very pretty. Alright, and then what cat should we use on here? I think he's big enough, but I, think, I don't think the gray one will fit. I think he's too, too big. It's like either... And this one I love. It reminds me of a cat I had when I was a little girl. But his tail is so long. He's so long with that tail. And I guess I could cut it, but I think he'll look weird without his tail. He's a long one, that cat. This little kid. <laughs> I love that picture. Maybe I'll tear around that and use that one. I'll have to find something else to go behind him, too. But so cute. With his little black splotch on his face. It's kind of like Pasha has the... He's white with the gray... Um, like over, up on his head and stuff, but it doesn't come down over his face like that. That's so cute. Pasha does have gray pants, though. Little gray pants. See, now that's too tiny. This is some kittens hanging on curtains. That, that looks right. <laughs> I've seen that a time or two in my life. I love that little guy, but we'll have to use him for something else. I don't know. I don't have that many... Oh, here's a little orange one, but that's even tinier. It's the only problem when you cut them out small like that. I don't want to use the white one again. I I had another one. I wonder if I could use these guys. Probably could if I tore it down. I just like the colors a little bit better on this than the black and white for whatever reason. These are pretty Persian cats. I was telling my son because he's like, their noses are longer than Pasha's. I'm like, yeah, I think that has gotten bred, you know, more and more short or however you say it. But um, Pasha's nose is too long for show. Like he can't be a show cat because his and it's not long, it's shorter than that for sure. <laughs> so that's how we ended up with Pasha is because he is not show quality. 
I don't care. I just love him. He's adorable. I like that. Might be kind of cool. This is just that tissue that has like the old ads on it. it just a little bit. Sometimes forget I have that um Draw paper to remember that. I like it. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Okay. Let's get this the kitty cats glued down. This side's even cooler. Let's use this side. <laughs> you just gotta check both sides. Because somebody wrote with pencil there, and it looks neat. Pasha's so funny. He loves it when Aiden plays the piano. Oops, is that upside down? I can't tell. I'm horrible at this. Yep, it goes this way. That three is definitely that way. He sometimes will come sit right next to her on the piano bench. He likes it. And he lays under her chair when she plays the cello a lot of the time. Piccolo and flute, eh, not his favorite. I mean, he, still, he doesn't seem to be bothered by it, like he doesn't run away or anything like that, but you can tell he's, it's just not his favorite, those two which is understandable. It probably kind of hurts his ears. Okay, so I will sew around that, stitch around it, whatever, and have, um, you know, something sticking out like fabric-y because there's enough room, just nothing big. And then we need to put something around here. So let me see if I can find... Watch out, Julie. Watch out, sweetie. Um, I'm looking for some like twine if I can find some. She likes to, instead of lick plastic, she likes to scratch on my bins, you know, the bins of fabric and things like that. <laughs> yeah, they both have their little quirky things they do. I don't know where that is. I keep moving things around and then I can't find anything. I dream one day to be organized, but I don't think it'll happen. I keep telling my daughter I need a keeper, which is very truthful. I need to be like, uh, what's her name on, um, what's her name on Bewitched? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue, I'm telling you. But anyway, I'll find some later. I don't want to make you guys wait. I'm going to just do the twine around there so that it'll stay. So that one's done, and then we'll move on to, I'll put it on my sewing machine, so I know i got to work on it. Um, this is one of the, or the envelope from the new Digi Regal, and I just cut it out, and we're going to ink it. So I, this is why I did this in the copy die, because depending on whether you're going to glue this side down, or um, put it in a pocket will determine if you want to decorate that side or you want to decorate this side. So I figured it was kind of a waste to, you know, have a print all over it. And plus this way you can use it in any, with any journal, digi, whatever you want, because it's just the coffee dye. So, so 
that is kind of nice. I know it's a little plain, but you can do whatever you want to it. And this one I printed on parchment. And that's that fun flap on there that was on that one that I got from my niece. I got it from my sister, but it was a one that my niece had. They saved me all kinds of crazy, like junk mail and stuff, which I've told you guys before. So that's fun. I'm having a heck of a time with flipping up the edges there. Okay, now that we got that all done, I think I'm going to go ahead and glue that down because I'm going to make a journaling card that goes on the inside that has one of these Tim Holtz pockets on the journaling card. I thought about putting it on the front of the envelope, but then the problem is the flap. And so I just didn't like that. So I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it this way. And this um, parchment paper that you just get at like the office supply place. Oh, why did I do that? I always think these go all the way up, but they don't. Um, I should probably put it on here instead. Um, it's a little bit thicker than like copy paper, so it tends to hold up better. I did it again. <laughs> what is wrong? You guys, I apologize. <laughs> oh, wow. The brain. I'm telling you, I can't, I can't talk and do this at the same time. It's bad. <laughs> Uh, if I wasn't D, I don't know what I would be. It's so crazy. <laughs> Just gotta laugh, because that's all you can do. It's either laugh or cry. <sighs> okay, so I think I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. And we'll work on the journaling card for this, which probably won't be very difficult since mostly going to be covered by that. So I think I'm just going to put some music underneath. Um. Oh, let me cut it short. I can't want to do that. Dingy. Okay, it kind of needs a little something else. Let's see. This old book page down here. No, it needs something more than that. I like this blue up here. This is in my Regal Digi, this one. Just rough up the edge a little bit. Stab myself a few more times with the scissors. Yeah, I would love to be one of those very organized people like Gail. I, I just am not, and I never have been, and I try, but it's, uh, like I'm organized in what I need to get done and that kind of thing I'm fine with, but 
all this craft stuff I am not organized with. And I just don't have a big enough space either, so it's just a matter of there's just no more room to put anything. I feel like it still needs something up there too. So let's take another piece of this, but I kind of want maybe this part. That's what's great about these. You can use them full page or you can use them for collage. And they all kind of go together, which is wonderful. I mean, I'm just going to... I think my daughter would be a good orchestra teacher. She likes to compose music too and she likes to conduct, so I don't know, it'll be something, something in that area most likely. She just doesn't know what. is good. <laughs> You're being screamed at. It's shocking. Jeez. <laughs> he picked her up to your arm and like squeaked. <laughs> He's already holding her. It's not good enough. Just gotta get right up under your chin. <laughs> she just wraps her uh, arms around his neck like like she's hugging him. It's hilarious. Oh, Jules, crazy girl. I put uh, the parchment paper on a piece of book page, as you can see, um, just to make it, this pocket a little bit thicker so that it's not just paper thickness. And then I have tags that I will put in there that I will back, but for now they're just, um, you know, paper weight basically. But they're just all different bits of these papers and these two tags right here are actually in the Regal Digi. So I'll back those and those will go there just so they're a little bit thicker and they'll have a plain, you know, backing to write on. And then what do I want to put on the back of that? Use some of this coffee dyed kid paper. It's a good, a good one. Totally crooked there. Ugh, the beeping of those trucks that do the like land grading when they're gonna build. Oh, they make me crazy. That will be for a while. They weren't building out here, you know, and it was just nice and quiet. <laughs> But for the last couple of years, it's just been constant, pretty much. Oh, I did a horrible job on that. Can't tell which is up and down there. There you go. Oh, 
Oh, and I want to thank my friends again, Allie and Emily and Dee Dee. You guys are awesome. Just really nice stuff that they sent me. That's so kind. Really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys were able to go check those ladies out. Their YouTubes and shops and things. It's actually not too bad at all with that. I was worried that that might be way too thick. I mean, it'll be a little thicker once I have back those tags, but it's, it's nice. And I'll stitch around it so that the that paper will definitely be down. Put a little glue right there. Just because it bugs me. Okay, and then I can figure out something. Where are we at? We're at 41. Oh, I didn't ink the front. It's right in there, super nice. Okay, so let's do something with the front here. I'm thinking I'm gonna put this um, circle, which is also in the Regal Digi, there. But you can use, you know, whatever you've got. You can use any um, Digi or whatever. It's just a, a circle, like a one and a half, I think. I'm not sure if mine, what size is mine? I think mine's a not the right size, of course. Oh, it might be. Here, let me cut a little closer. Can't get close enough to it. There it is. Hmm. So yeah, this one's a one and a half as far as I know. Uh, see, it won't cut it because it's wet still. Nutty. So wait till your paper dries. Okay, we're just gonna set that there for a minute. <laughs> It'll eventually dry. Let me put some of this on here, just a little bit. Did you help her? Um, we both can get her internet to work. Oh no. So Miss Cameron and I just talked. Oh, <laughs> well, that was nice. The girl couldn't get her internet to work. That's a bummer. Theron doesn't believe it. <laughs> what? I said Theron doesn't believe it. That cute cat's cute. Get on there. I don't know if I want that same print though, because that's what's on that little circle. So maybe we'll choose something else. And then we need something for the flap as well. These are going to be regal cats. How's that? Who doesn't like a regal cat? Okay. See, Theron can always get computers to work, so he doesn't think that they... <laughs> Even though for the rest of us, it's like, um, I don't know if it will work. Ah. I should probably draw on it a few more times. Why use pencil? I know I'm covering up my little tear design on there, but it's it's really fine. You can either leave it. It just depends on the project you're doing, you know. Sometimes you don't want that torn look. Sometimes you want it to be more of a clean look. or not torn, but um, coffee dyed, whatever. Oh, that was way too hard for me sometimes. But I like it. A little bit longer on that side. Not sure what I did, but I just took a tiny bit off.
you know, my super steady even hand there. Not. Okay. Oh, that's the one that's still holding <laughs> I'd learn with that, but I always try it thinking, oh, it'll work. <laughs> Not when there's white blue on there, it won't. Thing is so picky. wasn't happy about it, but I did it. And I got that uh, Fisker's Punch at Joann's and they were having one of their big clearances of all that kind of stuff because I've had people ask. But I think you can find them on Amazon or wherever. They have all different sizes. I'm pretty sure that one's one and a half. Let's just measure it. Since it doesn't say for some unknown reason, yeah, it's one and a half inch. So I don't want to... Maybe instead of... Let's see. We'll use a piece of this, but we don't need it. We don't need a lot. Just like a little with the cat, you know, it looks kind of cool. So we're getting a lot of ephemera done. I like that me happy. Sorry, screech the ink pad there. This one needs to be. Okay. Get that out of the way for the moment. Hopefully you're kind of getting where we're going, Betsy, if this is, um, you know, what you're thinking or if you like it or whatever, or if you don't, let me know now <laughs> so that I can go in a different direction. <laughs> this is what I'm thinking, but that doesn't mean it's what everybody else is thinking.
Okay, so we just want to glue half of this so that um, you know it's it's going to hold this down, and you can still pop that flap in and out of there. So we don't want to glue the whole thing. Trying to sort of center it as much as possible, anyway. Smudge that, of course, because that's what I do. Anytime there's ink and glue. All right, so that opens like that, and that pops out. So I'm gonna just let that dry. I don't want to mess with it too much because, um, you know, I don't want it to just come off. All right, so what else did we do? The cats here. So we've got the folder, the cat's in there and on the back and you know maybe I'll go stitch this and then I'll come back so you guys can see what it's gonna look like all together. I'll be right back. Okay so I put my little um, twine on there. That's a piece of twine that I got from Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts. And then opens. And we stitched around our little journaling card and added a little piece of lace. And this one we added a little piece of the lace at the top. So that just slides in there. And then you can glue it right down to the page. All right, and I won't tie it right at this moment. And then this tucks in there, which you saw. And then our journaling card has been stitched all around. So I hope you guys liked those. I thought they were kind of fun, some fun, um, different ephemera. So have a great day, and we will talk again soon. Bye-bye now.